Hello, my name is Javier. For nearly 200 years I've been teaching mathematics. Teaching has been good to me. I get paid insane amounts of money. And sometimes I even get to help people enjoy some math. Other times I don't. I've become obsessed, obsessed with observing and tweaking and thinking of various ways to improve my class. I've made many observations over the years, most of which are utterly useless, except except for one. Predictably and consistently, there is one question nearly all students ask, semester after semester, in all courses, from pre-algebra to post-calculus. I'm sure other teachers have heard as well. The question goes something like this, teacher, why do I have to learn this? I've heard this question so many times over the last 200 years that I'm beginning to recognize it even when students try to disguise it. Yes, students are sneaky sometimes and they try to rephrase the question. Sometimes it's asked in the following form. Teacher, is this going to be on the test? Teacher, when will I ever use this in real life? When I hear such questions, I hear them telling me, I don't give a darn about all these things you're teaching us. In fact, I don't see any good reason to learn this except to pass the class, to get a grade, and to move on. If it's not on the test, it's not going to be on my grade, and I don't want to hear about it. Sometimes they even ask the question without uttering a single word. They simply stop coming to class on a regular basis. They stop doing homework, stop trying, or they just drop out. Again, when I see this, I wonder, why are they disengaging? One can never really tell why students disengage. Could be family issues, could be health, could be that they're inside a Tijuana jail and can't get out. I never know. However, I suspect that more often than not, students disengage because there is no clear and compelling reason for them to be there. It's a big question with big consequences, and I, being a realistic person, know that it's not within my pay grade to even attempt to help resolve this for students in the entirety of their lives. However, being an optimistic teacher that I am, I think that at least for one hour of the day when they show up to my class, at least for that moment, my students should know exactly why they're there. Outside of class, bets are off. When they go to work, their boss should explain why they're there. When they go to church, their pastor should make sure they know why they're there. But when they come to my class, it is my responsibility to explain why are they coming to my class. The importance of a well-understood sense of purpose cannot be overstated. If a student doesn't see why they're there, then the de facto purpose is simply for getting a grade and passing on to the next useless class. Similarly for me, the instructor, if I fail to understand why I'm there, then it's simply the de facto for the paycheck. That situation could hardly get worse when you have an instructor that's there just for the paycheck and a bunch of students that are there to learn as little as possible, just enough to make the grade and move on. Mark Twain authored one of my favorite quotes ever. He said, there are two important days in your life. The first one, the day you are born. And the second one, the day you find out why. I've always loved this quote. And it seems to me that awareness of these two days leads to a life well lived. Moreover, one can learn from Twain. We can apply a little Twainness to everything we do. Imagine that. Math education has no shortage of problems. But if we picked one day to start learning real mathematics, and we set aside a second day to understand exactly why are we learning it, I think that would mark for a fine start. Now there's only one logical way to conclude this. We know the stakes are high and we know we must answer the million dollar question. Why are we here? I've thought about this for years and I have carefully drafted a response, but I think we should leave it for the next video. So if you want to know why you should learn math, come and join me in our next video. Thank you.